Well, welcome to LARPUK, everyone. It's been a little while since we've actually done one of these. Uh, so for those of you that don't actually remember, uh, I'm Stuart. Uh, I'm from LARPUK. Uh, with us as, as well, pretty much always, uh, is, is Robert uh, as well. Uh, this is going to get awfully confusing tonight. Uh, I'll, we'll find out in a second. Uh, naturally with us as well is the ever-lovely Katie. Hello, Katie. How are you doing? Uh, and uh, our special special guest tonight um well it's another robert so it's going to get a little bit more confusing but this is robert wood from larp raffle how are you doing robert i'm not too bad thank you excellent so um the, the we kind of I, I know rob kind of found you i think purely a little bit by chance uh, actually there wasn't much chance in it no okay <laughs> go on uh, Chow told me about Rob. Right, the lovely uh, and enigmatic Chow. Yeah. Um, so there we go, yes. Uh, oh, so there you go. So there wasn't any chance whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> Chow, the purveyor of everything cool and wonderful, um, she basically told you. Right, okay. Yeah. So I've had a little look um, on the Facebook page. Uh, not my Robert. Uh <laughs> <laughs> this is the theme it's got to be the theme uh and intrigued intrigued so tell us uh, a little bit about how this came about what was the idea so two of my best friends um actually own and run twisted goblin armories right uh, and my partner loves her facebook and she'd been going on these raffle sites and i could see how popular they were, how frequent it happened. I just happened to say to my friend, Liam, um, do you think this is something that would work to help you out? And yeah. he said, well, this is something I've thought about before. Maybe it's worth trying. I said, well, the issue I've got is I don't have any kind of relationship with the other traders. Um, it's, it's sort of myself. So if I did it, it would literally just be for Twisted Goblin. So he said, give me a few days, and the next thing, you know, I've got a phone call off him saying, right, all of these traders have signed up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Each kind of went from a loose idea to bang, and there it was. Um, <laughs> but it, it, very much, it wouldn't have come to fruition without his help. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So yeah, yeah. Traders would have happened. Yeah, no, yeah, we, we we know the Twisted Goblins guys as well, because, yeah. of course, we, we interviewed them at, uh, at LARPCon. Yeah. Uh, God, that was last year. It doesn't feel like last year at all. 2020 has gone. It was the beginning of this year, wasn't it? Hang no? on. It was, was it? It was, yeah. Yeah. it was a weeks before lockdown. Yeah, was it? It was in February, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? That just shows how each day for me has been blurring literally into one another. Um, if my watch didn't tell me what the bloody day was, I, I don't think I'd have a clue. Uh, no. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So anyway, we know the guys. <laughs> they're, they're nice lads, fair play. They're, they're, they were easy to talk to and very knowledgeable and lovely, lovely, lovely kit. So um, how does this actually work then? So essentially, I've got conversations set up with all the traders that are involved. So everyone that's in the page cover photo yeah. is one of the trades we deal with. Yeah. Um, they send me photos of their items with the cost, including postage and packaging. And I then I slot that into the one to 50 or the one to 30. Yeah. Um, people buy their tickets. Um, so all of our active raffles are kept under the announcement section of the page. Yep. People right. comment the numbers they want. Once I've confirmed the numbers, I'll send them the payment details via PayPal or bank transfer. Okay. Um, once the raffles are full, I'll draw it live on Facebook. Um, and then once that person has decided what they want, I will contact the trader, provide the name and address, and pay them for their item. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. A nice, simple system. Um, so I'm, I, I'm going to make an assumption then that there's some money left over. Uh, usually raffles uh, uh, work that way. So uh, what do you do with that money then afterwards? So any paid entries um, in the 1 to 30 and 1 to 50 get rolled over into a freebie draw the following day. So okay. there's a select set of items. There's some from Office Studios, some from Wonderlust Couture, and some from other little 
sections of the internet that I've managed to come across. Yeah. Uh, so everyone who's paid for a ticket gets entered in that into that for free. Um, and then the excess funds pay for things like the freebie raffles. So there's yeah. there's no cost for the item or the postage. Yeah. Um, they pay for things like covering my internet bill. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> And also subsidising the charity raffles. Um, mm -hmm. The charity raffles, are, are, people keep asking for a bigger and better, but the problem is bigger and better has to stay within the budget, and it doesn't always quite support the budget. No, <laughs> but, that's right, yeah. No, actually, go, the charity raffle's pretty big anyway. The one we're running at the moment is the largest one we've done so far. This is the third one we've done in six weeks. Yep. Um, okay, right. It's the largest one we've done so far, but some of the prizes on there are phenomenal. Mm. Do you want to let people know what, what they are? Because uh, I think that might interest a few people. <laughs> so, the raffle has got uh, 10 winners on it. So, bundle one, you'd receive an Emperor, which, well, so first place, you'd get an Emperor Bell tent, the stove, the flashing kit, two of the hardwood Viking chairs, a year of events at the system of your choice. Two hundred pound voucher for Charles and a two hundred and fifty pound voucher for Twisted Goblin. Sorry, is that the first prize? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Holy crap! Yeah. Six meter bell tent, tent stove, flashing kit, two of the hardwood Viking type chairs, a year of events at the system of your choice, and again two fifty for Charles and two fifty for Twisted. <laughs> place we'll get a four meter bell tent a fire bowl for the outside of your tent to keep warm and cook it it's actually um a dual sort of fire bowl cooking system yeah get two hardwood chairs two events at the system of your choice 250 for chows 150 for medlock and 250 for twisted um four <laughs> bell tent um one hardwood chair one event at the system of your choice and one for Charles, Medlock, and Twisted. Right, stuff this. Like, st stop there a minute, right? Just <laughs> literally, yeah. I think if you went through all ten prizes, um, I think probably the easiest thing right now is to let people know how <laughs> they get there to enter into this. So, how how do they do that? Not my Robert. Right. <laughs> uh, all our raffles are on the announcement section because the page can get so muddled with raffles finishing and starting yeah and anything, anything that's live is pinned to the announcement section which makes it a lot easier yeah uh, you just need to comment with the number that you want um i will go on there and confirm it as i said once i've confirmed it i'll send you the payment details yeah um this particular charity we've done a couple where we've donated to mcmillan and to links air ambulance yeah uh, we did one where we donated to um beaumont house in lincoln which is a palliative care center yeah yeah this I'm donating to four charities um, on behalf of four of our members um, at £400 a piece, which are Martin House, Wildwood Trust, the Sepsis Trust, and uh, an organisation called Alabert. Okay, yeah, right. Nice. Hey. Uh, well, wow. <laughs> I think the only thing I can say right now is this year, well, holy crap was one of them. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah. Um, you're doing a, a, a fantastic job. So basically, people just go on to, to Facebook, I presume, uh, and look for LARP Raffle. One word? Uh, no, it's not. It's two separate words, and it's LARP Raffles. Raffles with an yes. S. Right, so... Don't search for LARP Raffles. Also, when you go to the management section, remember to expand it, because it will only show you one post, because that's what Facebook does. Expand <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It goes, wow. <laughs> yeah, okay, no worries. I mean, obviously, uh, wherever we're putting this out, we will put a link uh, in the... Uh, uh, do you what? I know I love doing this, but what the hell? In the show notes below. <laughs> <laughs> How many raffles do you do a month? It can vary, to be honest. I mean, you've always got that that kind of lull. Yeah. The week payday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where I've drawn one to fifties in a day, I've had it where I've drawn once a week or one sort of three days. So, so it does; it very much varies. Um, but I tend to find as the makers update their stock range, um, and I do a little yeah. show for it, suddenly one jumps on it, and I, I want that, so it goes wild. For it. <laughs> 
yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And basically, the, that, the variability clause is, is you always wait until all the slots in the raffle are filled before you do anything. So it's, it, the speed depends on how fast people can pay you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm presuming there's probably a few people you might want to thank uh, that obviously have helped you get this off the ground. Um, so, you know, as I said, one of the big, th- one of the massive thank yous, because it wouldn't have been possible without him, is Liam from Twisted Goblin Armories. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. His, and without the phone calls and messages he sent, it wouldn't have been <laughs> um, Thanks to all of the traders. Um, they've been really helpful, really supportive. Um, I've got to say a massive thank you to my other half, because she has put up with something from me. Uh, <laughs> she's put up with Complete, complete ignorance from me at times um, <laughs> and she's still sat by me so wow. <laughs> can't the LARP community in general because I mean it's like I said we're only six weeks old as such and we've got almost 1700 members yeah wow. yeah that's, that's really going for the, the, I think the community has been right behind you on this because the word has been spreading yeah um I I, pretty I, fast. I do have what one question um are you limited to just in the UK or can this go worldwide? I am happy to arrange for people abroad to enter. Um, the only sort of caveat I'd add to that is that the, the free postage as such may not be an option and <laughs> yeah. that there needs to be a contribution to the postage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's... that makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely as 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 soon as you leave uh, 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 these borders as it were um yeah the the price does does tend to go up just a little bit just a little uh, <laughs> easy, a little bit you know it does, does, doesn't cost much more than a house um and uh, <laughs> and what have you well i tell you what this is what what you're doing what you what you've achieved is absolutely marvelous um uh, I think you should should feel very proud, basically, uh, of 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 what has been accomplished. And uh, if there's any way we can help in anything, just let us know. Simple yeah. as that, you know. Uh, so you heard it for you, folks. We'll we'll help them out any way that we can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, apart from that, uh, any of you guys got any questions for not my Rob? Um. You get the gun there, Katie. No, I don't no. think so. No. Okay. okay. I, think, I think we've covered most things here that I was hoping, hoping we would. And that's what I'm doing when we finish this, so I'm going to have that. Yeah, you're going to have that. I'm going to try to me a tent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you may get a few more entries, Rob. <laughs> I think that's what I wanted to do today, was just talk about the idea behind it, how it grew and how people can get involved, and that's that's. It's such really a good happy. idea. I see so many raffle pages, and never, never yeah. ever would have thought of one for lap ever. Yeah. It's such a good idea. I mean, there's, there's actually one for reenactors now as well, which was kind of born from lap. Oh. Um, yeah. And just said to me, "Would you mind if I did the same thing for reenactors?" And yeah, off they went, and they're doing the same thing as well. <laughs> yeah, well. well. I, su- really I, su- I suppose when when you think about it, any type of hobby or sport or, or whatever, you know, um, yeah. just create a raffle for it. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and and I would and I would say follow not my Rob's model of doing it. Uh, and you should be uh, you should be fairly golden. I would I would have thought and, and not come come cropper of any horrible little uh, legal things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and what have you um is, is there anything else you, you you'd li- like to add not my rob no no okay. you're you're happy fantastic superb right okay then so um as per usual folks uh you can always find us obviously on facebook just search for larp book uh we're also on instagram uh, and that is at the larp book don't forget to hit us up on the Twitters, and that is at LARPbook. And last but certainly not least, uh, on the YouTubes, uh, and it's actually LARPbook. I think it's two separate words. I don't know why, but it is. All right. Uh, so as 
per normal. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you very much, Katie. Thank you very much, not my Rob, uh, for coming along for this. Uh, so have a fantastic day, everybody, whatever it is you're doing. And I hope to see you all laughing very, very soon. Uh, bye, all. Bye. bye.